Hi friends, this is Jamie. I want to welcome you to my channel today. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Um, today I have some coloring books to share with you. I was contacted by a company, um, just pull them over, uh, Skyhook Press, and they were asking me if I'd be interested in sharing some of their books on my channel, and I would say absolutely. Course, that's what I told them and um, I uh, got them about a little over a week ago uh, things just have been crazy with kids starting school and my allergies have not been my friend so hopefully I don't sound too congested during this video but I do want to share these books that I um, got from Skyhook um, First, I'm going to show you guys, they are going to be having a new release coming out, which is this book. Uh, they said it's going to be an, um, released in September, and it's called The Mice Before Christmas. So, kind of like The Night Before Christmas, but The Mice Before Christmas coloring book. And it uh, says by Wendy, Wendy Edelson and Ann L. Watson. And here's the back. Look at all these cute little mice pictures. And if you like the Night Before Christmas story, you probably like this book. And if you like mice, you probably like this book too. So it says, um, it kind of gives the title here. It says, what is a coloring storybook? Because this is a coloring storybook. Um, they're known for coloring storybooks, the Skyhook Coloring Storybook Collection. And says this is a grayscale book so they have grayscale pictures and things and um it's a it's a different kind of coloring but grayscale is not something to be intimidated by um it actually can be easier than harder uh i'll just kind of flip so you guys can see because with a grayscale um right here you can see that this is a grayscale here um, it's been shaded so that it makes it easier to know where to shade for yourself. Uh, this is your nameplate page here. And it says, you can color that side if you want. It says, The Mice Before Christmas. And we have, I think these look like a grandma and grandpa here. And a family. Very cute. And it has this story here. You can see all this. Twas the night before, before Christmas and all through the house. Their house, the mice were preparing. There wasn't a mouse who wouldn't join in for the holiday flurry. From top floor to bottom, they bustle and scurry. So I'm not going to read all the little things. but Because um, I have a cold. But I... I do want to kind of share that it's a story and the pictures to color. And this paper is very, um, it's like kind of slick. Uh, I think you'd be okay with pencils though. And this is kind of like their house. Lots of little pieces there. And there they have a Christmas tree. And these little ones are looking through the keyhole. But all they could see was the curtains or maybe a chair. This is what they see when they look in the keyhole. Look how pretty that is with all the greenery. Making cookies. And they're making um, snow mice. That one's cute. Wrapping presents, hanging stockings. This is really cute. Very beautiful book. Piano. Look at this one. The gorgeous tree in the middle. You wouldn't be able to use your alcohol markers because they're double sided. So you would want to use your, um, you could use water-based markers, pencils, uh, distress inks, 
uh, gel crayons. I I wouldn't want to use watercolor in here because I wouldn't want to buckle the paper. But you could try it if you wanted, I think. Look at that scene. There's another one. They're having a dance party. Dancing outside. There's our Christmas Santa Claus type mouse. Look at the little reindeer. They look like um, like gerbils. Cute. The artist is very talented. Attention to detail. <laughs> Sorry for the sneezing. <laughs> And like if you wanted to, you could just color like like this one day and maybe color a little bit of this and a little bit of this. And then before you know it, that would be done. Look, there's one with little kids. This is the end of the story where it says not even a mouse. Not a creature we're stirring, not even a mouse type of concept. But this one would be really pretty colored. It would take me forever, but it would look really pretty with just, even if you didn't want to color a whole thing, just adding g glimpses of color would be cool. And then it says about the children's book, about the illustrator, about the author. So yeah, if you want to know a little bit about them, they have their own websites. And here are the other books that they have in their collection, which I'm going to show you right now, because they were kind enough to send me all of their books here. Uh, they sent me Amazing Grays, number one, a grayscale adult coloring book with 50 find photos of people, places, pets, plants, and more. And... It, this is uh, probably about, let's see, um, eight and a half by eight and a half. Yeah, eight and a half by eight and a half. And of course, it says that on the front and it has the copyright information. And then these strike me as um, photograph type looking pictures. And they are single sides, so you could use markers. Um, that you can just add some color to. I don't know if you guys are familiar with those vintage photos where they add just a little bit of color. They don't fully color the whole thing, but they just add a little bit. You can uh, use like pastels and stuff just to give it a little bit of um, life into a picture or some flowers. Baskets. You could add some different colors into that and it might be fun. And this is a puppet maker or a puppet show. Behind the scenes of a puppet show. Some river rocks. That's relaxing. Older couple there. Camels. This girl, I don't know what she's looking at. Maybe she's reading. Flowers. That's pretty on the water. Victorian Harbor Fairy. He's teaching his daughter to juggle. Playing a guitar. marketplace some clowns and balloons get a work party or something so this is like pictures from real life so to speak deer
Make you dress up like a clown. She's holding her dog. I've colored a couple of pictures like this in the past. And I feel like I always mess them up. Um, but I'd be willing to give it another shot. It might be fun to do something like this. Just some roses or something. And just add a little bit of color and see how I feel before attempting something like this. I actually has someone's face, you know. Okay, little mouse toys. There's a doggy. Flowers. Going on a ride. This is a uh, puppet show. I believe this is the puppets from that old man that was setting up puppets. She has a really pretty profile. It's <laughs> a good dog. When I look at that, I think good dog. <laughs> Bird. Flower. Crane. There's another flower. I, to me, I feel like the flowers would be good ones to practice before attempting like actual faces. There's another one called Amazing Grace, number two. And then these different books right here. And they sent me this one, the Skeeter and the Weasels coloring book. I'm going to flip from the back here. This is about the artist and the author. This one is actually a story as well. And they're grayscale. They kind of look like, um, like cloth animals that are dressed. Yeah. You could read this story. It looks pretty simple of a read. So you could read it with your kids. And then you could color it and make it all fun. They look like little detectives in their trench coats. Weasel Central. <laughs> Get out of my office. You're fired. That's what it says. I'm sorry, Skeeter. There's been a change, a shakeup, a shift, and a slump. You're fired. <laughs> so I guess Skeeter is the kitty. And then they sent me some hardback books. This one is absolutely stunning. I'm a little intimidated to dig into this one, but I'll get there someday. Um, the Baker's Dozen coloring book. And the artists are the, still the same. The Wendy Ed Edelson and the stories by Aaron Shepard. That just um, says this is a coloring storybook. And right here it talks about um, doing different things to uh, color in here. Uh, and your name and your date and stuff. Right here it says like blank lines right on the title page for the colorist design. You could do that. Um, pictures are printed on the one side of the paper and framed with black for cleaner edges and dramatic presentation. Yeah. So you can uh, read this. Uh, it says in a Dutch col colonial town later known as Albany, New York. So it just starts off in a story here. And look at this little village. 
Oh, sorry guys. I'm trying not to wobble, but it's like every time I touch it, it makes it worse. And we have like this Santa looking thing or a St. Nicholas. That's really pretty. And this guy is a baker, is what it says. Some people here. Because they're celebrating St. Nicholas Day. That's what I'm kind of getting from the story. Look at the detail. It's absolutely stunning. They have they have cookies and there's the baker. Beautiful. Like I think that the just the drawings of the the face and the wrinkles and the hair and look at the clothing just absolutely beautiful beautiful it would be hard for me to know I would be scared to mess it up it would be one of those things that I would um, I have to play with and see what I like the best there's a St. Nicholas there's another St. Nicholas right here wouldn't that be pretty to color for Christmas? Okay. He kind of gives me screwed vibes with the cap and the night dress there. But I think it's the baker. Making more cookies. There's that lady from the front. She wants a dozen cookies. And a baker's dozen is actually 13. This would take me a long time because I would want to color it just right. You could use alcohol markers, but then it would ruin your words on your story in the back. So I would suggest using a, a water-based marker or your pencils. It's absolutely stunning. These are like the thumbnails of the book. She's beautiful. And then there's these. And then they sent me this one, the Sea King's Daughter coloring book. And I am thinking the illustrator is this name right here, Janati Sprin, and Aaron Shepard is the um, author. So all of these are storybook type um, books with um, images with them that you can color. They're all grayscale. So this is called the Sea King's Daughter, a Russian legend. And this is hard bound and it's like kind of like slick, the paper. And I think this has page numbers. But look at this. The detail. Wow. stunning yeah these are page numbers look at this this one is a little more pixelated looking but I think once you add color to it just wow Oh, pretty. Look at the shells and their hair. Everything. Be 
beautiful mermaid. I don't think these would be too difficult to read. I mean, since it's a, a Russian legend, some of the names might be difficult. But overall, I think it's a pretty easy read, which is good. That's a really pretty picture. I like that one. That one doesn't look as pixelated as the others. It's gorgeous. That's stunning. And then there's those thumbnail things that I was kind of talking about in the others. How to say the names. Look, they even give you little things. Um, Goosely, La, La Duga, Novgorod, Sudu er, Sodoko, Volkove, Volkova. And there's that. And then the final book they sent me was this one. And this one I had seen on Amazon before, and I think it's really cute. Um, the Quackling Coloring Book. And again, it's a storybook one, and you can put your name and date here. Skyhook Press, of course. And there's our little duck guy. <laughs> this one doesn't seem as intimidating as like that, um, the Sea King's Daughter, but uh, grayscale and still super cute. If you like ducks, you probably like it. There's some foxes. So cute. Quack, quack, quack. Ladder out of sack. Help. I'm in a stew. Quack, 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 river of, out of a sack. <laughs> that bear. This bear is so cute. Look at the fur, that's so cool. And even in this one, the attention to fabric is awesome. All those bees. I would not be liking life if I had bees around me. <laughs> There's the little snippets of part of the book about the artist. It's Wendy Edelson and then the author is Aaron Shepard. And then the little more grayscale things on the back. So that is the books that they sent me. Absolutely stunning, stunning grayscale um, books. And I do look forward to coloring in this one for Christmas. It will be very fun. I like coloring in mice books. And yeah, I just want to thank the Skyhook Press Company for sending me these absolutely stunning books. Um, I do really enjoy them, and I will see you guys next time on the channel. Have a wonderful day, and I will put links to these books in the description box below. Bye, friends.